what's the deal with soy? I get asked that question all the time in my cooking classes. So here today on Healthy Cooking with Val, I'm going to answer just that question. Hi, I'm Chef Valerie Wilson. I have been teaching cooking classes for over 17 years and just recently it seems to be everybody's confused about soy and they're always asking me what's the deal with soy? I heard it wasn't good for me. Well, see these products in front of me? These are all traditionally made soy products. They've been eaten for over 5,000 years. That's a long time. And I personally enjoy these soy products on a regular basis and it's been over 20 years that I've been eating this way. Soybeans themselves are really high in protein. They're high in B vitamins and they also have strong anti-cancer properties. They contain isoflavonoids. These isoflavonoids have been studied and have shown that they help to reduce the risk of cancer in your body. Now I know there's a lot of confusion because they are thinking that this is going to interfere with your estrogen or you know they don't really understand it. But here's how it works. The isoflavonoids that's in all these traditional soy products actually balances out your estrogen. So if your estrogen is too high, it's going to bring it down. If your estrogen is too low, it's going to bring it up. It's going to balance it in your body. That's why over in Japan, where they eat a lot more soy than we do here, they have far less incidence of breast cancer. And up until recently, they didn't even have a word over there for hot flashes. So again, these traditional products are fantastic for you. So what are some of them? Well, the most popular and probably the most flavorful and medicinal is your miso. Miso is the soybean that has been naturally fermented. Mix it with salt, put weight on top of it, and let it ferment. It's a condiment, and it's salty to the taste. Most people have had it in miso soup, which is very delicious. And then, of course, we have tofu. This is the fresh tofu, and this is the silken tofu. If you know what you're doing, and you properly season the tofu, it's very, very flavorful. And one of my favorite soy products to cook with is tempeh. Tempeh, they take the soybean, they partially cook it, and then they ferment it. So it has more texture than the tofu. You can crumble it and saute it, and then it's like a meat substitute. I love using tempeh in my recipes. And, of course, one of the best condiments you can use is tamari. Tamari is the salty brine that comes off of when they ferment and make the miso. This is the healthy version of soy sauce. So all of these traditional soy products, healthy and wonderful for you. I think where a lot of the confusion comes from is that the soybean has been refined and processed. And it's been put in quick food, you know, frozen foods, packaged foods, things like that. And we tend to overeat those things. Unfortunately, the soybean has been genetically modified too. So please, when you eat soy products, read the label and make sure that it's organic soy products. So let's get back to basics. Eat these traditional soy foods that have been eaten for thousands of years. They are so healthy for you and remember anti-cancer properties. Now I have some fantastic recipes in my cookbook Perceptions in Healthy Cooking. One of which is my tofu french fries. <gasps> They're really really good. You can go to my website, macroval.com, to purchase a copy. And don't forget to check out my Facebook page, MacroVal Food. Remember, your journey to eating healthy begins with one small step. Let's make that small step soy food. <laughs>